on May the 2nd, 2013, I had written regarding individualism. And on late July or early August, it was released on the right stuff dot biz. Over there, it led to a pretty big flame war from various commenting personalities, the weirdos. That was hilarious. A lot of people have wanted it cited on their essays regarding these concepts. And it was even made fun of by certain people on the moderate left for being neck bearded. However, looking back at it, people have kind of started making contradictory points. So, the West is predicated on a certain level of consciousness. The idea of guilting people rather than shaming them. Which, for you social justice warriors that are shaming white people for not checking their privilege enough, uh, that lets you know that there's something off about your ideas when they need to be shamed in the first place instead of being guilted, which they probably would do if it's something they should be guilty about. But, <laughs> that's a good contradiction, and I've never given an answer for that. Because, individuality plays in the fact that the West is always about taking risks. It's about brave men doing what no other has done. That could actually harm the collective. It's not Asiatic. Asiatic would be taking what I said to the extreme in regarding individualism. And I even cite some monks. I cite some monastery characters and archetypes. Is that really Western? Maybe not. Or maybe yes. Let me explain with an analogy. I was on a black guy page. You know, black people humor. For those of you who know me, I love that kind of humor because it's self-deprecating. And of course, if a white guy mentions it, he gets called out. Or a white female mentions it, they get called out. It's hilarious. But it's there's a certain level of charm to it to see all stops being made to rationalize away half of the crazy stuff that happens. Black guys whining on Instagram about how they don't get girls, so they're going to suck their own dick. But anyway, for this picture that I saw, it was a light-skinned girl, a light-skinned black chick, and there were two purses of identical designs. One of them had no logo, the other had a Prada logo. And so she looks at the above one and says, uh, that's too ugly for me. She looks at the bottom and says, I want that. And on the description it said, SMH, what's wrong with the materialism nowadays? And I had written that that's not materialism, that's modernism. Because... It's, the matter is the same. It's the symbol that matters more. And yes, I had used the term matter twice in the same way for, for in different meanings for the same sentence. That much I do remember. But two people said, no, that's exactly what materialism means. It means sacrificing your individuality to follow a trend. And... No, that isn't what it means. I tried explaining this, but... These two guys seem like mestizoids. Based on their personalities, so... Or mulattoes. Smart enough to... Kind of scrape these concepts and know that they exist to... 
into abstraction, but not necessarily to into abstraction well. And I have my hiccups, but that's terrible. You see, modernism is something I've insulted a lot recently. I said, we need to get rid of leftism first, but then we have to worry about modernity, and maybe even post-modernity. Definitely post-modernity. Because once those symbols stop having meanings, like... It goes from that Prada logo to a colorful meme text saying, not meme text, there were rules or something tongue-in-cheek and cutesy to describe some absolute nothing, some absolute nothing about your personality. Well, this defines me, but... This means something that's absolutely ludicrous, and once you analyze it, it's something but drivel. It's the equivalent of a MySpace profile. It totally resonates with my style. It looks so me, but it's not really that unique. Uh, I've seen that template before. And I'm saying all of this stuff because leftism. I've identified the defining characteristic of leftism as putting the individual above the collective and the individual's autonomy so much so that no one really benefits from it. Like you get disiscum. That's a good. Like when I think of leftism, that's kind of what I think of at this point. Disiscum. And that's weird since that wouldn't be relevant any time besides this decade. But there it is, disiscum. I mean, you got a bunch of. Trannies aren't really going to play into the future. And they still kind of want you to change the political structure, to change the privilege structure so that they can do this comfortably without the guilt, without the social shaming and awkwardness and the legal advantages they don't get, the stuff that they can't do legally, the stuff that they can do, the economic issues regarding their lifestyle, it's all problematic. And at the end of the day, it's them expressing their individuality. This is who I am. Allow me to be who I am. I don't have to change myself for anybody else. Because I was born this way or because these are the patterns that I've learned at a critical juncture of my life. And that any moment, this could happen to you. It could... It doesn't have to make sense. It could have contradictions here and there, but that's another essential part of leftism, the contradictions. Is it nature? Is it nurture? Is it some random quantum event? I don't know. Justice for the leftists is a very strange, individualistic, atomistic, pluralistic concept. And I'm throwing these istics, these isms, and I'm worried I'm going to get it all totally wrong. But when I was on that black eye page and he said that, that opened my eyes to just how right I was. Because for a second I was doubting, for months I was doubting the quality of that work. But I realize now more than ever that there is something to what I had written on May 2013.
because while modernism has its role in affecting things, it's not really a left or right wing conundrum where this unchanneled individuality, this unchanneled pluralism, this unchanneled in individual autonomy, atomism, these are all features, well, not as much atomism. Atomism you can put on modernism. You don't need to put a left or right on them. Just uh, individual autonomy. This is leftism. Or at least a defining characteristic of it. This is where you get people destroying the concept of theocratic rule, nationalism, monarchy, and scarring it so much that even if it's our nature to get it back again, It'll be a while before we ease into it. We'll be lost souls for a while. And I don't really mind. Because if it means getting rid of leftism, then I can deal with the transital period. Anyways, Mr. Walker 7. And think about it.